souls, welcome back. I hope that you are okay and that you had a totally blessed week. Um, so this week, what we're going to be doing in this reading is what is the person you are thinking of thinking of you. So what what's going through their thoughts, what's going through their minds. And um, quickly before I get going, those people that are new to the channel, my name is Ali. I am a psychic medium. I am a tarot reader. I'm a priestess, a full goddess, and I am also a full on pagan druid, part of Obod. Um, so welcome to the channel, those of you that are new. Um, I've been on maternity leave. I am getting back to readings on the 8th of August. So if you want to book a private reading, um, I do email readings, which will have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround time as of the 8th of August, once again. Um, I'm also doing 15 minute readings, half hour readings, we do past life readings, we do normal psychic readings, we do soul purpose readings, any kind of reading really. It's all on the website www.mysticlovetarot.com. The only thing that isn't on there is um, some kind of healing energies that I am planning on putting into the website soon. Um, where we're focusing on the older energies, the old druid magic, the old druid energy um, to help in promoting healing within you. So um, a lot of the time we're being a priestess of goddess. I work with a womb energy within your within your physical body, which can um, sometimes be limiting where your capacities are going with regard to relationships. So I do a lot of womb healing um, and things like that. So if you are interested in anything that's a little bit different or a reading as well, just drop me a message uh, at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Or if you're on Instagram or Facebook, you can just find me on there, Mystic Love Tarot. Um, so yeah, back to work on 8th of August. If you need me, drop me a message and I can book you in for your readings. So on that note, let's get cracking. Oh, Hunter's okay, by the way, guys, if you're like, where's Hunter? Um, that's my baby, those of you that are new to the channel. He's doing good. Um, he's downstairs, lots of babas and mamas and dadas. More mama than dad, are they right? <laughs> um, no, he's doing good. Okay, deck number one and deck number two. So those of you that aren't, are interested, this is the textured tarot. I'm using some older decks that I've got today. And this is the Light Prisma, Prisma, Prisma Visions tarot. Neat little box. Um, I like these. If you're ever interested in a tattoo, they kind of, all the suits go along like a big picture. Um, and you can make a really pretty picture out of them. And, and I tell you, if you are looking for like a big tarot orientated tattoo piece, um, they're a good deck for, for inspiration. Okay, number one, number two, let's do this. So as always, it works on the collective mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situation. So a bit like how at school, you teachers were like, what is the average of all these numbers? It works like that with you guys. It works on a average energy between you all. Um, so again, if you need personal readings, just give me a shout. Okay, think about your person for me. So at the moment, what we're doing is we're just getting into your person's energy, into their thoughts, their feelings, their emotions, and their thought processes. And as I'm doing that, I'm seeing a very deep sea, a very deep ocean. Now, when we look at kind of the psychon uh, psychonsciousness, <laughs> it's a new word, the psychology of things, and we look at the sea, I, I said to you a few years back, I said, what does the sea make you think of? Three different words to describe the sea. And the psychology of that, if you want to do it now, do it now. You can write your answers in the comments if you're interested. But the psychology of it is when you're looking at the sea and three different words that appear to you is how you like your sex. So the fact that spirit are showing us, the guides are showing us the sea to begin with. So this is a very... Let's firstly go with deep connection between the two of you. The sea being water is also a very strong emotional connection with you. But also with the sea representing sex from the psychology side of things, it's also a very strong sexual connection between the two of you. So that, off the bat, when we're asking what does your person think about you, you've got all three of them. So emotions, yes. Deep connection, spiritual connection, likely to be a more divine consciousness connection, yes. And, um, and sexual connection. What are they thinking of you? So this is really, really interesting. This is really, really interesting because out of the four cards that have jumped out, you have the Empress and you have the Emperor. You also have the King of Swords and the Page of Swords. So largely you have court cards. And let's just get one for the overall outcome. So this could be that family are interfering with this a little bit. <laughs> there could be other people that are influencing the situation, depending on what's going on. Uh, it could be friends, it could be family, it could be a little bit of a 
ex history horrible things and they're like oh i don't know if i'm ready to commit to a relationship but out of the the first four cards and um, including with the emperor and empress these aren't court cards but i'm going to count them as court cards and um, for this part of the reading there is an influence of other people okay not all of you but some of you guys as i said works in the mutual energy between you also friends family interfering mother-in-laws um exes kids anything along those lines there has a bit of a, a difficult energy with that now like i said it's not all of you but it is coming up in the cards so when we're looking at how they're feeling about you we have the emperor and we have the empress so straight off the bat you have got this divine connection and with spirit showing us the sea energy to begin with it's all on the same kind of hymn sheet okay it is a divine connection it is a beautiful connection it's also spirit are saying a historic connection so it's likely that you guys have passed lives together and if you want to pass life reading give me a shout but you have this beautiful blending of your energies between the two of you so what they're thinking about you at this point in time is that they can see this relationship can go the distance they can see that this is someone that you are sorry you are someone that they want to be with you are someone that really kind of ignites that spark within them now that being said we have over here the king of swords so your person Remember on this channel, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, but tarot will always work with a king and queen, okay? So with the king energy over here, um, your person is quite logical with the situation. So they feel that this emotional connection between the two of you, they feel this bonding between the two of you, and they feel this beautiful divine relationship, but they're acting a little bit on logic. They're acting for you guys a little bit in a frustrating way because they, they perhaps aren't giving you what you want at the moment and they're not massively communicating to you about their emotions. Doesn't mean they haven't got them, it's just that they're trying to act on a more logical standpoint. Could be regardless in like where your individual situations are, it could be that they're just not quite ready to commit, it could be that they're not quite ready to communicate about committing, um, it could be that they just want to see how it all plays out. Now with the owl over his shoulder, this is signifying that there are changes afoot and with the butterflies as well also signifying transformation within the connection so if they are being a little bit of a tough nut to crack at the moment it won't last okay we have the page of swords over here so uh communication happening between the two of you um potentially through the internet as well so i don't know if you met them online dating or through facebook or whatsapp or instagram um it could just simply be the two of you texting each other but there does seem to be a focus on communication they are also watching your social media for those of you that have got it they are keeping tabs on you and seeing what you're up to your person that you are thinking of is very very interested in this connection they're just playing it a little bit cool where the situation is going from here and over here we have the six of wands and it's kind of staring at me in the face so we've got to use this one we also have or did have the full and we also have the six of swords in reverse okay so you've got these three cards coming up as where this connection is going so the full your person and the full they are just going to go with the flow with this they'd like to see what happens between the two of you there is potential for a new beginning between you both and they can see that they can take a leap with this they've just got to get out of those more kind of dark thoughts this more i'm going to act on logical side of things because i'm a bit scared of getting hurt and once i do that you've got this movement towards you and that can be seen with the six of swords in reverse so the six of swords normally talks about floating away from problems get away from all the hardships that you've been going through uh, having a bit of break sometimes potentially holidays so if you guys are going on holiday that's your card now in reverse this is saying that your person has took time away from the situation and is actually on their way back to you especially with the full card next to it okay so there's a movement coming back towards you and with your six of wands your victory is assured in this okay so really successful outcome happening over here so when we're looking at what their current thoughts are they're really into you they really like you they really sense there's a very strong energy between you both very powerful movement between you guys and um, they will be expressing their emotions to you and um, very strong divine connection you just got to go at their speed and they're watching what you're up to on social media which is pretty neat and that's step number one that was really positive reading uh really liked that so if you need me just drop me a message at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com uh, i am doing readings again as of the 8th of august we did it we're back 
um, and keep your eye out for next week and the week after because I will do some competitions. I think I'm going to do one to win a deck. I've just got to work out which deck to give you guys and also a uh, winner reading. So just make sure that you're subscribed to the channel uh, so you get a chance of winning and I'll do some kind of competition. I haven't quite worked it out yet. Oh, there's one more thing, actually. Bugger, I forgot to tell you. Uh, tra trago, Trago. Uh, T-R-A-G-O-E. Uh, he's my friend. He's a pagan musician. And I told him that I was give him a shout out on this, this channel uh, because he's doing his first retreat this weekend. Um, so it is free. You can go to, uh, if you go on my the Mr. Latara Facebook page. I put a link on there for you guys. Um, so you can just follow that and register for free. It's set to be a really good event. Really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, go and have a look and go and have a listen to his music. Because if you like pagan music, you'll love him. He's great. Okay, that's deck number one. Deck number two, here we go. So my loves, um, if you just tapped in, to really turned on. Um, I was just giving you an update saying that I'm back to readings on the 8th of August so if you need me just drop me a message at mysticlovetarotgmail.com or dm me on insta or facebook just mystic love tarot and this is the only account i have um mystic love tarot on instagram is set to private but just send follow requests uh, because there's so many scammers out there and one person tried to scam everyone and make a fake account so i just put it to private and um, to, to monitor the traffic coming through a little bit and um, the other thing i just said at the end of that reading is uh my mate who's a pagan artist pagan musician is having a retreat this weekend if you head over to the facebook page you'll follow a link if you head over to instagram it's on there as well it's a free retreat um, and i think every person that signs up they plant a tree so it's all really good stuff so go sign up um he's he's a very he's a, a loving lovely guy love him to pieces and, um, and the music you will really enjoy if you're after a higher vibrational goddess god vibe. Okay, so let's have a look at what your person is thinking about you. Okay. So as always, it works on the strongest energy between you all. Oh, I like that. Okay, and uh, let's just get your overall out woo, outcome. I'm going to get another one. Actually, 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 get one more. Right. Okay. So actually, this is also a good deck. So sometimes when the cards jump out, we never know what's going to come up as your mutual energy. But between you guys of deck number one and deck number two, really good feels, really good vibes coming through on both these decks about what your person is thinking about you. So let's start at the very beginning and we're just going to work our way through these cards so you have to begin with the emperor so this is your person your person is a very strong energy a very powerful energy a very logical energy a bit of an adventurer um they are very strong minded okay so um Sometimes they can be a little bit more nurturing and, and, and step into a more female energy. Remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. It works with males and females in tarot. So sometimes they can step into this more female energy. But a lot of the time you'll find that they are in this masculine energy. So they're probably not massively expressing how they feel with words, but they might be expressing how they feel with actions. Really important to pay attention to your person's actions and not their words and it will tell you a lot more of what you need to know so person very strong energy we have the magician okay so this is you and your person's energy aligning so what they're thinking of you at the moment is that they really like you they're really into you and that the two of your energy is aligning for the potential of a really good future with the ten of pentacles over here your person has a little bit of a history your person has a little bit of a past and with the Ten of Pentacles, this is saying they're ready to put the past to bed and focus on a new future, which is family orientated. And with the magician and your energies aligning, this is with you. OK, so they can see your energies over here. They can align your energies together and they can see that you guys have got a future. So the Ten, the endings and the new beginnings. Uh, the Ten also, if you're looking at the numerology, would siphon down to a one of the magician just to throw that out there at you and um, to say that there is magic here that this is your what you want aligning to your purpose so 
if you want to have a manifesting plan, give me a shout. The manifesting is about making your dreams and your wishes come to, true. And we use different tools and techniques to do that. Um, each manifesting plan is different from the one before. No one's manifesting plan is exactly the same. But has a really good um, success rate of getting you what it is that you want. Either way, the energy is already aligning with you guys and you are manifesting this into your reality. Even if it's been a bit peak tongue, you weren't in contact and it all went flying up in the air, um, that manifestation of you two coming back together is aligning. Your person hasn't had a personality transplant with the emperor, but what they have had is a realisation that this can really work out with you guys. Okay. They're seeing you in this Queen of Swords energy. Um, if you like musicals and you like uh, Frozen specifically, <laughs> Adina Menzel, she sang a song saying Queen of Swords, um, really kind of puts this card to the table on what it means. Um, she's the power energy. She is the bitch energy in your deck. She is the kick ass and I'm not going to raise my voice. I'm the one that's in control of this and you will either meet up to me or you will jog on. So you are in this queen of swords energy. You are in this power energy and with the emperor over here, the two of you, your person is really interested in you when you're in this power energy. This can sometimes create a clash, okay, Emperor, Queen of Swords. It can sometimes create a clash between you guys. But with the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles over here, again, your energy is aligning between you both. So they can see the future between you both. They can see that it can work out. Now, where, when, what, how, you're picking up a few fours. So you've got two fours over here, looking at the numerology really quite intensely in your deck so with the two fours you've got the four of cups and the four of wands so your person through this kind of misery that they're going through through this loneliness through this heaviness that they've had in the past again as I said they're ready to put the past to bed through that loneliness and heaviness they have the idea that you guys can work it out four of wands can also symbolize marriage okay or oh, your connection really moving forward a celebration some of you perhaps are going to weddings um where you might meet your person or parties or events really good energy coming up but it has been through this heaviness through this sadness through this i didn't realize what was in front of me will bring in the celebration with you guys so the only other thing that we need to talk about over here is the moon card and um, really important that you guys follow your intuition on this all as well do trust your gut instinct remember the mind can be deceived um but do trust your own gut instincts because your gut instinct will never lie to you your person will still be facing a few shadows over here the reason why they might come back go a little bit back and forth on occasions will be because of this emperor energy that they want to be this very strong independent energy and they're scared of getting hurt uh, because of stuff from their past again and um, so when that happens you might find that they're a little bit pushing you away and um, with the four of cups over here that fed up will bring to you your four of wands which is your celebration so overall what your person is thinking about you uh they're being very strong they're being very determined they can see they like you in your power energy really draws them to you um your energies are aligning they see that they can have a future with you they're ready to let go of the past really ready to focus on the future and it's only been because they've got fed up with the situation and perhaps how they've handled it that they can now see the light at the end of the tunnel with being with you and that is deck number two Okay, guys, so if you need me, drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com or find me on Insta, Facebook, and um, websites up about up and about as well. That's just mrlovetarot at gmail.com. Go have a look at Trigo's uh, music. You'll love him. Also doing a retreat on the 13th of September where we're looking at Druid Magic and I'm hoping to get that online for some of you guys. Um, I haven't looked at the internet of that place yet, though, but I'll, I'll have a look at that all when I get back to work. I've just started writing what we're doing. And uh, yeah. And that's it. Yeah, drop me a message. All right, guys. I love you. Ciao.